we've got some simian lines on both the left and the right hand and also just from what his hands say about him uh, in terms of the shape of the palms and the fingers we're getting quite a bit of information here so this one's pretty good really as far as a sunday case study goes i mean look at the detail i've got here this is amazing and we've got a mole down here just on the inside of the venus mount here it's fairly close to neptune and i think this is very telling um it's quite a remarkable sign um so let's let's uh get stuck in i think i'll just go over the uh the shape of the palms and fingers pretty quickly here we've blatantly got a fire hand here i mean the fingers aren't altogether short uh, but they are certainly not seven eighths of the palm's length um or longer so we definitely have short fingers in comparison to the palm's length this is a fire hand someone who's um you know look at look at the width of the palm as well at the base certainly a bit wider at the base so we have um someone who's very charismatic very sensitive very feeling and uh, has a great capacity for uh feeling and this is emphasized by the simian line here as well and i'm going to unpack what that truly means for this person as well but there is a great sense of uh movement of um you know whenever you have a wider uh base uh, of a hand it shows someone who's quite interested in pioneering in reinventing and you know fire hands are typically entertainers singers dancers um they are influencers of some sort they are constant inspirations of movement which really sums up what fire is and when you have this extra uh length of the palm it increases a person's capacity for for feeling and thinking and that's because you know it stretches out the emotional zone of the palm that's the palm uh, above the heart line uh, and you can see here with with the simian line the head and the heart line being fused being one it creates an extra amount of space above these and so it, it it provides extra feeling it interferes intertwines thoughts and feeling as one when someone makes a decision it's both a feeling and a thought a decision so um to get the negatives out of the way a simian line can create feelings of intense jealousy and a possessive nature uh, potentially you know feelings of um, paranoia anything where uh, is potential thought and feeling can intertwine um but also on the flip side to be positive about this the um the, the greater aspects of having this are that they are laser focused in their tasks in their work in their creative efforts whatever it is they do they give a hundred percent everything in their work is everything of them in in them you can see it it makes a person highly passionate an incredibly hard worker they just kind of want to be left alone so that they can get on with what they do and they what they do they do incredibly well uh, and you can see here you just get this is where the image cuts off i can't get any more than this but notice how there's a slight gap here between saturn and apollo and it shows here actually what i'm talking about this is someone who just sort of wants to be left alone a little bit so they can get on with what they know that they are actually good at and what they feel that you know meant to do with their life um, and that is producing singing songwriting uh, for this person this is without a doubt someone who's highly passionate uh, puts all of their personality and character uh, into their work their their spirit into their work notice how the the lifeline swings boldly out um into the center of the palm before curling back in around venus this is someone with a great deal of charisma personality and they're quite bold as well with um their their choices in life and as i say they are a bit of an inventor they are a bit of a pioneer in what they do the thumb itself is not that long it's not entirely um high set but it's kind of kind of short ideas are certainly stronger than uh, willpower this is someone with 
uh, an immense amount of willpower. But luckily, because the thumb is so short, they're very able to action um, their many ideas. I think if we saw a long thumb with long logic, then there'd be a lot of wasted thoughts and ideas and creativity. Thankfully, it's not the case for this person. Their moon amount seems to be a little bit high up. And what I mean by that is we don't see uh, an overdeveloped sort of lower um, section of lunar down here. It's it's more developed a little bit high up where long-term memory is concerned, where uh, the dreams and subconscious, um, it's, it's more around sort of present creativity rather than um, accessing, uh, you know, ancestral memories or... Um, skills or thoughts or feelings from a past life this is more um current for this person there what they are able to do and achieve in this life i think is likely it's due to what they've managed to achieve in in the here and now it's not something that they have brought with them from a past life and i think if it were you'd see a fate line that was starting more over here more over into lower luna this fate line if you look it actually kind of comes from Neptune, a place of um, captivating others, of holding an audience, of keeping an interest of a large mass of people, of hypnotizing, sort of putting people under a spell with their words or movement or their their art, their message. Certainly a difficult read in terms of what we're able to say about this person's emotional makeup, and that's because the heart line is very straight because it's fused with the headline. Um, so, you know, essentially what's associated with a heart line that's straight, it's on, it's quite cold, calculated, unfeeling. But then look at two things here. The heart line itself is the deepest line in the palm. This is someone who feels deeply, although they might uh, come across at times as uh, quite cold. However, look at this, the heart line itself, branches off from the simian line and and actually this is the best type of simian line to have because if you look closely you've got the heart line breaking away rising up towards in between saturn and jupiter and this is the exact place you want to see a heart line um reaching up towards and and uh, an ending the destination of the heart line because it shows a good sense of right and wrong it shows a good understanding uh, between the self and others it's not someone who's going to put themselves out there too much they're not going to give too much of themselves and they're also not going to be too selfish they're balanced in their approach to how much they should give and receive emotionally they've got a good sense of right and wrong a good conscience that's what it's showing and then also the headline the way it breaks away and pulls down here as well you have here you know it's it, it, this is the best type of simian line. It, it levels things out for this person. They have a good degree and understanding it. All those negative things I said about the simian line, this means this person has a much higher chance of um, preventing themselves from feeling those uh, potentially unrealistic or over powerful uh, feelings that might well govern their decision making. But what we also have here, and this is key, this is important, is this here. And it's it's a sort of a doubling effect of the heart line. I'm going to come back to what I think that means. That's This is an interesting sign because we've got this line that rises up towards Saturn. And as it does, it's sort of met by another sign that's another line that's come from early on in life and rises up towards Saturn. And where they meet just after this, there's a... Um, a strong reunion of the, the Saturn line here, but I'll get back to what I think this means. This, this takes a bit of an investigation, but firstly, look at this, the way the heart line has come away from the Simeon line. It's a little bit sort of um, fragmented. It's trying to be sort of one with this line here, which is a doubling of the heart line, I believe. And, and then it doubles again up here. So not only does this show this person has an extra um, strength of feeling, they have an extra sensitivity about them. They are um, this, they're highly sensitive, highly emotionally charged and aware. 
and there's a great amount of feeling about this person and and you know what i was saying before about them giving themselves a hundred percent of themselves into their work this is showing that even more so this this is someone who is highly emotionally invested in their work but also it's a possible sign of um some sort of heart murmur some sort of potentially atrial fibrillation we have here and then also you see an island on the heart line underneath it's just sort of in between mercury and apollo and i'm just sort of stumbling i'm not stumbling i'm stalling because i'm looking for the apex and there it is so that's the where the center of the mount of mercury is so it does it is in between apollo and mercury and so this would show um this is likely a heart issue this this island here that's what this represents um potentially circulatory and if we look at this other image here on the right hand now the right hand shows us what's physical because you can see the left hand is relatively straight and that's what we've been looking at here but notice on the right hand there's a bit of a bump in the uh, heart line here now a wavy heart line is sometimes associated with dishonesty we're looking at the right hand and this is what's uh, physical this is what's external and so what we're actually looking at here is something that's much more likely to be affecting this person um practically speaking you know physically this is a materialization of um some sort of corruption in the physical uh, makeup of this person rather than emotional so i'm i'm not going to say that this is perhaps it's honesty if we saw that in just the left hand then yeah but actually this is more likely again uh, related to this potential um circulatory blood issue um that's connected with this um i believe uh, heart issue now i know whether we're looking at the left hand here so you could say well you know you've just said that the right represents the external and that's true but it could be because this is hereditary because this is um in, internal literally physically internal it's it's um it's a bit of a puzzle the palms they're, they're not always straightforward in, in the information the way they display that information and so it could be that in fact this is quite a hard topic for him to digest perhaps there's that you know this gets in the way of his career and this this as i say because his career is so emotionally invested in it it could be that there is you know a, a feeling uh, around this that's actually quite difficult to accept notice the mercury line or the health line as it's sometimes known as the liver line it reaches up towards this island this is not something that needs to be ignored and and then from this interestingly we have here this this is a success line and this is a money line and the two are they're separate they're also connected so success for this person is not money success for this person could well let's have a look at this little image here i don't i don't feel that money is you know extremely important to this person i think we if we saw you know the hallmarks of that would be the headline that stopped underneath apollo um we would see potentially a headline that sort of flicked upwards towards sort of outer mars here we would see a heart line that stopped underneath saturn you know we would see a, a high set thumb that there would be other signs here that would show um the need for basic practical materials you know sort of needs we're not getting any of that from this person this person is as i say very sensitive very i think what really matters to this person is how they can um, gain a sense of satisfaction from what they do and how that their work influences others um whether or not that's you know that they're i do think you know with this low set of thumb as what's well, a key sign of a humanitarian um the heart line certainly reaches in between you know as i said a good sense of right and wrong we've got some superb uh, intuition and sympathy line here 
Um, I do think this person wants to make a positive impact through their work, with their work. And if they're not doing that, then they probably don't feel that they are successful. And I think that's more or less what this person, um, you know, success means for them. But interestingly, their success, their ability to make money is directly linked with their health line. And their health line is not the best. And I do think this has something to do with this potential heart murmur or atrial fibrillation and I also think there's a potential circulatory issue as well but interestingly when I look at the in this cute little image here of the nails here they they actually look I mean it's not the best image but they look like a good color there's the shape of them this shows a very sort of intuitive um, ability to a very intuitive sort of spiritual nature and make decisions as well on a spot decision maker and that's a key trait of a fire hand although this is not your typical fire hand most fire hands have shorter fingers than this this person's fingers are certainly analytical to the very thoughtful very introspective person um you get a greater sense of the the very um sensitive thumb here this is someone who would likely in another life have been pushed around quite a bit. Um, but, you know, again, I think the cards fell right for this person. Thankfully, they're so focused in what they do and they're so good at what they do that they uh, found the right opportunities at the right time. I don't think there was a great relationship between them and their father. I think their father was in some way absent, either emotionally or literally. And that might not well have been their fault. However, that has not had a negative impact on their confidence. Um, and that's seen by the length of Mercury and Jupiter. Now, a key trait of a singer is a long Mercury and Jupiter finger. And we see that Jupiter, it's not it's not short. Um but it's not it's not long it's it's, a, it's actually a fairly average length however we do see a long a very long mercury finger what i also note here is the bending back of saturn this person has a keen interest in the supernatural now if you look closely at the finger pads themselves you can often get to have a look at this kind of information in the sunday case studies here but look at these they are sort of droplet shapes they are um, accentuated into uh, fleshy little sensitive pads of feeling receptive to um, responding you know they're responding constantly to the stimuli around them this is again a, a, an extra uh, sign here of sensitivity now i'm just going to cover this quickly because this image is not all that good and we've got a much better one but this rising line here up towards saturn at the age of about 21 shows achievement it shows this person uh, improving their life and building something up towards saturn the place of duty of their path in life of the um the inevitable of their journey and this is why the uh, career line or the fate line rises up towards the saturn mount in general anyway uh, for most people and this is because it's it's the career it's their fate it's their path their journey um now this person's fate lines are really interesting one coming from neptune this place of captivating uh, engaging with an audience holding the attention of many with their message it comes from this place and it's kind of it, it delves into lower lunar before curving wonderfully to a wonderful curve to it and it, it 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 curves it tries to turn towards apollo and you know the curvature of this line it's showing how this person's um has made something of their own career in some way it's showing that they are um taking control of their journey there's uh, manipulation of their own path they're sort of um imagine they're on a train 
and uh, they're doing everything to bend the tracks as they're sort of steering the train. That kind of doesn't make any sense, that analogy, but it's impossible, isn't it, to, to steer the track you're on. But this person has in some way done that. And I say this because this person does have a, certainly have a feeling that they are on a path and there is no changing that. However, they have actually managed to um, forge uh, and custom make their own sort of path in life a little bit. Now we can see here, if you look on the lifeline here, the left hand again, internal, we see uh, this, there's quite a bit of stress here. There's quite a bit of support and influence from the family as well, from friends and family here. And, uh, and we know this person has a lot of friends because of the many upward strokes on the basal phalanges. Um, you know, if we see one clear sign on one of these phalanges, then that one sign stands out. But when you see several minor faint markings across phalanges, then it diminishes any one um, meaning behind these signs and kind of creates a, a broad uh, meaning in itself. So this person has a lot has a lot of friends. So the this here it almost kind of forms a, a square here on the inside of the lifeline. There's a fear of hospitalization. Um relatively early on, 25 here. And then later on, there that that fear kind of comes back. There's a greater um threat here uh, to to that kind of um their their lifestyle their environment the way they're living their life notice here this line here it comes across i had to turn the image around it was annoying me um you notice at the age of about sort of say 28 20 yeah about 28 here from this time onwards right up until 30 about yeah about 31 no about 28 to 32, we have here a distinctive sort of threat of, it's almost a square, it's not quite, it's, it's almost as though there's enough influences here, there's enough help and support um, to, to get through this and not to have fully formed a square. There's fear about this anyway. But leading up to, the, in, in, this, in these few years, in these four years, especially at the age of about 30, we have here a blip in the lifeline right here. Tremendous support here as well seen. And and then after this, this is a very difficult time, and after this, um, 31 or so, 32 here, we have the distinctive um, threat here towards the career. So it's, it's, it's this, this possibility of what this could be is, is potentially more real at this time. Unfortunately, we don't have a good image of the right hand, um, but we know that this is affecting his feeling about his his lifestyle. Notice how the lifeline becomes a bit sort of sluggish here. Um, there could well have been um, some time at home, perhaps, and the the headline as well. The island scene here is a very stressful time, um, and after this time. So here is about the age of 31, 32 on the fate line, um, no, which corresponds with this here. Notice how the fate line becomes thin, becomes difficult for this person to continue on their journey, on their their path, on what they should be doing with their life at this time, their career, as it's the career line, it was difficult at this time. It's interesting that the headline breaks away from the heart line as this person reaches uh, 35 and so the the headline breaking away from the heart line is a sign of this person you know compartmentalizing forging that ability to um, make decisions outside of their feelings it's a, it's a degree of self-understanding this person is gaining and i think it's um it's, it's quite a fascinating I think for most people, you know, where the fate line meets the headline is 35. The timing might be off for this person because their their head and heart line are fused and higher up on the palm in itself. So we'll probably have to just sort of throw that timing out of the window a little bit here. But the timing on the lifeline is certainly right. So it could it could in fact this could be 
this could actually be about 35 for all this time. So this could be about 31 ish. Yeah, it's a tricky one. Yeah, I would say actually that this is about 35. And I think from 35 onwards, this, this is particularly difficult time for this person. I think they're going to go through some health issues at 35 onwards. And I think actually they, as I say, they have these health issues anyway. They're hereditary likely. They're inherent within this person and they've been dealing with these. They've been working around them. They've been managing these health issues. But I think for whatever reason, um, something, you know, occurs for this person and it's not all that easy anymore. The career after this time is a lot more difficult. Um, 42 is really where things begin to become much easier again. I'm, I'm stalling because it's difficult to time now. Um, so I'm not really going to make any... Yeah, don't quote me on 42, but this, just think of it this way. In later life, the career line, it, it looks to take a, a turn here the, where they want to, this is the left hand, go with their life is certainly down this um an artistically influential path which is what they're already on anyway but then there's also this a forking of the um career line so there's this idea that they could maybe do two things at once that they could use royalties to um fund another project that they you know something they've always wanted to do you know it's interesting because you would normally see the career line rise up towards Saturn, but this person, it's certainly much more Apollo related, the arts, uh, achievements, um, and uh, creativity, their abilities are, and, and utilizing those is much more important to this person. Now, coming back to this line right here and what this means for this person, this is a this is a really interesting one. This is a relationship line here, uh, or an attachment line, a marriage line, as it's sometimes called. Does not represent marriage. It represents how strongly a person feels for um, uh, someone in their life, a relationship that they have, and even not necessarily not necessarily romantic. But I do think that's what this means for this person. Notice how it it appears to cut the potential for their happiness for the joy in their life, for their success. Uh, and as I say, success for this person is not monetarily related. Um, this carves it right upwards towards Saturn and looks to affect their fate. I believe this is a secondary heart line. I don't think this is a marriage line or an attachment line as such, but I do think they have a relationship that's directly connected with their career, with their success. There's a, a very close relationship to someone that has the potential here to cause tremendous disappointment. And I think that, you know, we see it here as well, the age of 21 or so, there's a tremendous sort of um, disappointment here, hurt, uh, upset, heart, ache. Um, and... It, it's clearly it's clearly ongoing for this person, whatever this is, whoever this is. The good news is that in later life, this person um, will get past these things, their success, their career, and um, what they will manage to achieve is certainly strong. Um, at least they, they kind of know that these things will in the end be resolved. Now, on that subject of someone in a close relationship, um, a close someone they're working closely with, it's very it's linked to their career and their ability to be happy, to be successful. Look at this thumb here; it's curved inwards ever so slightly. I'm trying not to pay too much attention to it because I don't see. It. I mean, it's not the great angle. Uh, the photograph is not a great angle really to see. If this is how his kind of thumb naturally leans, it's the left hand, so it's a good into you know it's a good um, piece of evidence, I should say, towards uh, the possibility this person doesn't have a great sense of feeling around their they they're not able to action their own ideas, take full control of their own life. There's some 
feeling that they are in some way their decisions are being controlled or manipulated in some way and actually i've seen this quite recently with timothy chalamet uh there's likely an agent an overbearing friend or family member or a work colleague who is in some way has one of the reins who has um been trying to bend and steer the train track for them and so i think that there is um there's something there's something bothering this person they're not quite fully able to carry out what they want to now this mole seen down here is a curious marking and in indian palmistry this is said to be a mole found here on venus he is said to be someone who is enjoys a life full of family full of friends enjoys all the joys of life lives a joyous and very successful a very happy life i think this this sign in particular is a key signifier of his personality and how his character his warmth his charisma uh, shines through in his in his work has is directly linked to their uh, path in life it's one of the roots of their of their journey of their destiny it's almost as though there is a, a strengthening influence from their uh, personality from who they are it's created this opportunity to uh, live the life they have that's you know these roots here come from this person's ability to engage captivate uh, to hold an audience to to send their message over to the wider world notice how neptune itself is a very well developed mount and then you have here these outside influences here that strengthen the path here this this fate line is quite a remarkable one because it shows the roots and and what these roots mean this is their um their skill set in terms of their ability to engage and captivate hypnotize others their charisma and how this is one of the roots their influences from afar their influences from travel from um this this restless high present imagination and, and notice the how these affect and strengthen um and come into contact come into play with their journey this is showing how this person draws on their subconscious to um feed uh, to to water these roots to to strengthen and um and and, and make this uh, journey possible and and i always you know after the dalai lama palm reading i always look at fate lines now as plants i can't help it and each one of these roots uh, strengthens from a different place and and creates um a different facet to this uh, living plant here and, and and this is certainly someone who has all of the things i've mentioned strengthen this this journey um and the struggle that's up ahead will only add to this person's um experiences and allow them to influence others through this now and this is the forking of uh, well it's the difficulty seen at 30 uh, five and onwards and then um later on with uh, potential health issues and you can see that uh, down here there's a, a potential kind of inherent um possibility for um, an operation of some sort in later life um, perhaps 50s or so late 50s i would say but you know it's probably no point in trying to predict uh, being that they're so young so you know a fascinating palm really uh one who you know is truly blessed with just a great character great spirit um it's just a wonderful personality who's very optimistic enjoys all the things um that are enjoyable in life and um a very sort of well aligned healthy person you know someone who isn't um allowing the principal kind of negative personality traits that they have to bring them down because they're leavened by the um the best possible simian line to have 